Tony, are these be is, is McCutcheon from the Pirates actually going to come here? Uh, does anybody in the back want to move and sit in the front? Do it. Let's do it right here. I got four seats right here. Don't everybody jump up at once. Now, I don't know how much you've had to drink. It's going to sound the same. I don't know how much more of an experience. Oh, oh shit. Nobody did. And over here by the ladies, we got another table. I like this. Now we're moving like a boss. Look at this guy. He just sits down and puts his arm around a pretty chick. He's all over it. He's got game like a boss. He's business casual. I'm wearing a fucking suit. This guy's in sneakers. What's going on? He's wearing Docker jeans and Doc Sider shoes. That's all right. You're cool. One black guy in the whole room. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. No, no. Two? That's the thing. Black guys have such black guy radar. It's unbelievable. If there's a black guy in a mall and there's a black guy in Macy's and there's a black guy in the food court getting a slice of pizza, he's like, what's up, bro? Where is he? I'm right, right? Where is the other brother? Yeah. Brother. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up? For real. Money man again. Look, now you gotta ride home, some shit breaks up. <laughs> Isn't the population in the United States 11, 12% black? What's 12? And out of 400 people here tonight, we have two. That's like a half of a percent. I'm calling HR now. That is bullshit. I want to come back next year and I want all black people. <laughs> or white people acting black. Because really, African Americans, and I don't want to call you African American because you look black. Let's be honest. <laughs> There's nothing greater than a white guy. What is it with white guys and my brother, my friends? I'm down with the struggle. I got you, homie. <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding. White people have, they are in, you guys are incapable, and myself, when you meet a black guy, you have to say something like, word, like you have to say some stupid shit. Like to let the black guy know that like you're cool, you're in on it, like yeah, yo, that was mad ill, right yo? The black guy is, yeah, that was mad ill, Jack, thanks. Jack just fucking left, really? He was just here. The call back to a lot harder than that. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here uh, tonight. I understand you've had like Lyle Lovett and CeeLo Green. You've had great comics. I want to thank uh, your bosses for having me be the fucking seventh comic somehow. I was the seventh name on the list. Really? I'm number seven. I bat before the fucking pitcher. That's where I come in. Who else? Uh, we're running out of comics. I don't know, Jay Moore. Is he any good? <sighs> I flew southwest today. It's always nice when you have an aisle seat and you're sitting next to an actual chicken. That's nice. <laughs> southwest is the, uh, it's like Greyhound, but safer. It's unbelievable. You know what I love about Southwest Airlines? Uh, no seating arrangements. They give you a ticket and you're so used to flying you know, human being airlines, that you just don't even think about it. And they go, we are now boarding all of the A's. You're like, the A's? I, what? Jose Canseco's here? What's happening? And I look at my ticket and I realize I'm an A. It says A on my, this happened today. And I go, oh my God, that's me. I gotta get in line. Too late. As many people are here, that's how far back in the line I am. Because it's general admission. I'm sorry, but when you're flying at 37,000 feet, you should have an assigned seat. Have some order. People are running to the plane like it's a fucking Allman Brothers concert at Coachella. They're like, I want a really good seat next to the speaker. <clears throat> Southwest, those planes are old. Old. Older than their flight attendants. Old. <laughs> is, is HR here? What is happening? <laughs> this is our night to just party and swear, and you guys are like, whoa! <laughs> Old flight attendants? I'm uncomfortable in this work environment, JJ. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck yeah, dude! Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> yeah, all right! You and Reese 
resources has really ruined work for everybody. <laughs> He does. That's a fancy man. You know why you have to? Because when you go home to your wife or your girlfriend, she doesn't want construction worker calloused hands and to feel your goddamn, like, hook finger fucking L scratching her nipple. She got sore boobs, her period's coming up. She doesn't want that inside of her. That's, that's what you think. Like, I'm a man. No, you know what? She wants that Richard Gere, pretty woman, billionaire, white collar hand, that nice and smooth. She wants you to have hands that are much wealthier than the actual body that's attached to them. No woman wants that fucking, I shovel for a living hand. They said I could be art, so I'm going rated R, fuck it. Can't count on it. Here's also what I like about Southwest Airlines, the plane not connected to the airport. Now, I'm not really a stickler when it comes to travel. For pro I mean, I'm a comic. I'm on prop planes, I've taken helicopters. I've been picked up at fucking airports in Edmonton, Alberta, where a guy had a pickup truck and said, it's about four hours, wanna put your luggage in the back? I'm like, all right, this is a Canadian limo, I'm good. <laughs> that actually happened, by the way. Like, hope you like Lyle Love it, man. I'm like, I fucking love Lyle Love it. Crank that shit up four hours going up to an Indian reservation. What, am I gonna piss this guy off? <laughs> Getting an argument with him so he can drop me off in cold.